Hi, I'm Cedar with Freedom Voice Customer Care, and today I'm going to show you how to set up call forwarding and group forwarding. To start, we'll log in to weblink.freedomvoice.com, and then under the Settings menu, choose Call Forwarding from the Delivery column. Here you can set up call forwarding for all the extensions in your system. We're going to start by setting up sales. To enable call forwarding, toggle the switch to on and enter a phone number that you would like the number to forward to. Enter a description and choose the time zone. Then click Save. As you can see, that number is now in the call forwarding list. If we want to select certain times and days that this number forwarding happens, click on Add Time Day Filter. In this box, you can choose the hours and days that you want your forwarding to be active. So if you were only open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, you would simply choose 9 a.m., 5 p.m., and uncheck the Sunday and Saturday boxes. The number of rings is configurable, so if you have multiple numbers in the forwarding list, it will ring this number of times before trying the next number or before going to voicemail. If you want the voicemails to be left on the phone that you're forwarding to, set a higher number of rings to allow that to answer. When you're finished, click Save. Now you can see that we have extension 800 forwarding to this phone number, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. If there was another number that you wanted to try if this number didn't answer, you could add another entry. Simply click Add New Entry, enter another number, and another description, choose the time zone, and click Save. Note that there is separate time and day filtering for each line. So if you wanted it to be the same, you would need to make it match. So we'll set this to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now if someone calls and chooses extension 800, it will try to dial this first number for four rings before trying the second number for four rings before then going to voicemail. What if I have more than a couple numbers that I want to ring, or I want it to ring multiple numbers at the same time? To do that, we'll do a call forwarding group instead of a list. So I'm going to delete these two entries. We'll go to Settings and Forwarding Groups under the Delivery column to set up our forwarding group. Start by clicking Add New Group and giving it a name. Since this is for extension 800, which is my sales team, I'll call this one Sales. Under the Call Distribution settings, we have options to control the method of distribution and the grace period. On the Method row, click Edit. Here you can choose between Call Rotation, where calls are delivered to each number in the forwarding group sequentially, and each new call picks up where the last one left off. End Waiting will start at the top of the list each time and skip any unavailable members. This means folks towards the top of the list will get more calls more frequently. You also have the option of simultaneous, where all the numbers will ring at the same time. I like the call rotation method, so I'm going to choose that. You also have an option of choosing a grace period, which is how long before a new call is delivered after the last call wrapped up. I like to give my team at least 25 seconds in between calls. Now we'll add members to the group. Simply click on Add New Member, enter the phone number you would like to forward to, and a description. Continue this process for all the people in your forwarding group. Once you have everybody entered, click Done Editing. As you can see, now you have multiple phone numbers as the members of your group, and it's set for call rotation. Now we can assign this forwarding group to the extension, so we'll go back to Settings, 
and call forwarding, and then click add new entry under the call forwarding list. Now instead of number, we can choose the drop down and click on group, and you'll see all the call forwarding groups you've already created show up in this drop down. Since we only have one, our only option is sales. Then you can click save. This is convenient because now, even though I have three different phone numbers, I can add a time and day filter that will affect all of them. So I'm going to set them all to be only forward between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And I want it to wait four rings before it delivers the call to the next person. Now I'm going to click save. I now have call forwarding set up for extension 800, which is sales, to deliver to my call forwarding group for sales Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and my system's ready to go.